Hi everyone, welcome back. So here is question number 30. Once again, a question from CAT 2019 slot 2. Actually, when I was going through this paper, I saw there are many questions that could have been done just through aptitude. And I also see one more thing. When I counted all of them, I found there were a good 15 questions out of 34. We did not require anything else apart from logic. And in this year, at a score of 15 questions, that is 45 marks, you could have gotten 96, 97 percentile, right? That's the usage of this series. That's the usage of these sessions. Let's have a look at this question number 30. Two ends A and B start from a point P on a circle at the same time. With A moving clockwise and B moving anti-clockwise, they meet for the first time at 10 a.m. when A has covered 60 percent of the track. If A returns to P at 10, 12 a.m., then B returns to P at what time? So what I have done on this next screen, you see a circular track. This is point P currently. Of course, the red one is and A, the yellow one is and B. A is running in clockwise direction and B is running in anti-clockwise direction. They meet at 10 a.m. So let's start, let uh, have them moving now. Okay. So this is how they are moving. They meet at this point. I see that the red one has completed 60% of the track and the yellow one has completed 40% of the track. Of course, it is given to us that A has completed 60% of the track. So of course, the other one would have completed 40% of the track. And they met at this point at exactly 10 o'clock. This is also given to us. They met at this point at exactly 10 o'clock. Now he says from this point also they start running. A returns to P at 10, 12 a.m. So A returns here at 10, 12 a.m. The important point is when they started from the same point, they met at a particular point. And when they met, A had covered more distance. So can I say that A is running faster? That's obvious. They started at the same time. But when they met, A had covered more distance. So the, that means A is running faster. A is running faster than B. And now when they move ahead from this particular point, A just have to cover that remaining 40%. B has to cover 60%. The faster ant has to cover lesser distance, right? So it is now going to take even lesser time than that. So now how are they going to move? If they move now, of course, the red one would reach P. But the yellow one would take a lot of time because first of all, yellow one is slower than the red one. Plus, it is also going to cover more distance than that. So from this particular point, I can say that this red ant, that is an A, has to cover 40% of the distance and it reaches here at 10, 12. So cover this 40%, it takes only 12 minutes to cover this 40%. It takes only 12 minutes. Now the question is to cover the same 40%, how much time the other ant would have taken? Now initially it is given to us that when ant A covered 60% of the distance, in the same time ant B covered 40% of the distance. So can I say the ratio of their speeds is 3 is to 2? Because when you take the same time, the ratio of distance covered is the ratio of speeds. Speed of A is 3, then speed of B is 2. So if the person with the speed of 3 covers a distance in 12 minutes, the person with the speed of 2 would have covered it in how many minutes? Can I say he would have covered it in 3 by 2 of 12? 3 by 2 of 12 is equal to 18 minutes. So and B would have covered that 40% of the distance in 18 minutes. And if and B covered 40% in 18 minutes, in what time and B is going to cover this 60%? It is going to cover it 60% in 60 by 40 into 18 minutes and that gives me 27 minutes. So and B is going to reach here at 1027. That's the right answer for this question. The question required just one thing, proportionality. If the ratio of the, sorry, the time taken is same, the ratio of the distances is equal to the ratio of speeds and ratio of speeds is inverse of the ratio of time. So when ant A has taken 12 time to 12 minutes to cover a distance, ant B is going to take 18 minutes to cover the same distance, 6 times of that. And if 40% is covered in 18 minutes, then 60% in covered in how many minutes? 
So once again, I'm using proportionality, more distance, more time taken. So it becomes 27. And by that logic, I get the answer as option A, which is equal to 1027. And this is what it is showing that it reaches a little later than that. So it's an aptitude way of solving the question. But yes, it requires a good understanding of circular races along with the proportionality concept. I'm sure you could have done it real fast if you have a good understanding of that. Okay, that's all guys.